Hello everyone and good morning! Welcome to Let's Do Research with Dr. S. This is Dr. Sarah Namoko and I am your friend in your research journey. In this video, we shall be talking about sampling techniques. Whatever lesson that you will learn from here is very important and useful as you write your methodology chapter of your thesis or dissertation. Now, sampling has two methods. You have the random sampling and the non-random sampling. When you say a random sampling, every member of the population has an equal chance of being selected. That is why you need to have a sampling frame to be sure that all of them, all of these people within your, within your target population, they have equal chance of being chosen as your respondents. In so doing, the researcher can minimize biases in the selection process. To do that, the researcher should not be influenced in choosing the respondents of the study. Okay. Meanwhile, in non-random sampling, each member of the population does not have an equal chance of being selected. In fact, some of them don't have chance later on we are going to discuss why okay so in for the purposes of this video tutorial i will be sharing with you three random sampling approaches and three non-random sampling approaches now i would like to bring you to the references of which ideas in this video were referred to again this is dr sarah and i hope you enjoy this video tutorial Thank you and bye-bye!